Okay, morning everyone. I'm gonna make my quick little video today. I say quick, it's probably gonna turn into longer than I wanted because there's quite a lot to get through. But I'll make a quick little video to explain the differences between the Evo Field Pro version one and the Evo Field Pro version two. So V1 and V2. Um, I'm also gonna go through when you receive your Evo in the post, what to do, how to disassemble it, how to prepare it and get it ready for use. So um, yeah, let's start by taking a look at what the differences are. Right, firstly, I've opened a new mold. So this is made from a completely different mold. What I've done with the first model was I made, had the mold made, or the casting made at 95 millimeter. And when it was polished, it obviously lost a slight amount of that. So they came in around 94 to 94 and a half mil, which is neither here nor there really, but I like to have things exact. So I had this new mold made one millimeter oversized. So it was made 96 millimeters so when it was polished. These are coming in at 95 millimeter there, thereabouts. So that was the first thing I wanted to change. Um, obviously we've had a lanyard hole put in at the bottom there, five millimeter lanyard hole. The spacing of the nuts is different. So on the original one, they're quite wide. On this one, they're nipped in a bit more, which makes it look a bit more symmetrical, a bit neater. I know it's only tiny little things, but these things sort of really bug me. Um, the first version as well, what I had done initially was I had all the bolts polished so that they looked the same as the face of the catapult. But what I found was when you undone the bolts and done them back up with a clip with a band in, the lines no longer, the polish lines no longer lined up with the polish lines on the catapult. <laughs> and that annoyed me. So the next lot I had made, I had them made flush with no polishing. But this lot I've had made slightly recessed. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The hole's slightly larger so, so that the screw sits in slightly further. I've had extra thread added to the clips so that you've got more use of the bolt. So that when you push the clip in and out, these clips now open up around four to five millimeters, whereas the original one only up and opened up about two. So you're much less likely to lose a uh, a bolt because obviously you've got more thread on there. You don't need to open up as far. So that's another little little feature. Like I say, I think it just looks much better. It's a much cleaner look. You know, better symmetrical. You know, just just looks a whole lot better. So that was another thing I had done. Um, also the v1 i had it all made at the same height the casting was all made at the same height so when this was polished some of these little grippy checkering parts would get damaged i mean again you know it's tiny little things but they were just slightly flattened off at the top there so what i've had done with this one i've had this made half a millimeter aside bigger than the handle so that when these faces are polished none of the checkering gets damaged at all so none of these little head nibs have been touched they're all still in perfect condition again some it's small but i like to have these things right um let's have a look what else i've done uh, a lot softer edges as well um you see with the original one all the edges i like i like this at the time i still do like it but all these edges were very sharp but some people didn't like it obviously if they're trying to shoot with a pinch grip um so i've had all the edges softened off so you can see every edge has just had it all rounded off so there's no sort of sharp edges on there anymore it's going to be more pinch grip friendly if you want to shoot with a pinch grip i mean the differences aren't huge but i know yan you're looking for an excuse to buy one so <laughs> there's your excuse um i think that's about it it's it's a lot of tiny little details but i feel that these tiny little details have made it overly better to shoot more visually appealing it does come in 15 grams heavier because obviously I've added that slight little extra size to the face and the bottom to avoid the damage to the handle. But again, 15 grams on a catapult, this, this is neither here nor there. So I'm really happy with them. So let's take a look at what you need to do when you first receive your Evo. Okay, so when you receive your Evo, you're going to have your torch key and also in the package is going to be a little sanding disc. Now the first thing you want to do when you get your catapult is take the Torx bolts out. So they're sprung loaded. So just obviously be careful you don't ping one out. They aren't overly strong springs. So we're just gonna whip that one out and whip this one out. And obviously these have been factory made and machined. So in behind the clips here, you're gonna have an element of dirt and grease from machining. So just get like an antibacterial wipe or some soap and water and just obviously clean and dry inside the clips then just check 
for sharp edges on the clips. What you don't want to happen is to damage your bands. So that's what this little disc is for. So when, once you've disassembled it, obviously you do this both sides. I won't go through both sides, but just the top edge, just get your little bit of sandpaper and just finally go over the top edge of the clip. And this will just take off any little rough edges, any little burrs that might nick the band. It shouldn't, shouldn't be on there, but you know, it comes with it and it's better safe than sorry. So like I say, just go over the clip, the top edge of the clip, the very top edge of the clip with the sandpaper. And then if you want to, you can grease the nuts. I don't really bother, but you can if you want to. The clip goes back on and then obviously your nuts go back in. Of course, being careful again because they're spring loaded, you don't want to ping one out. And that's it. Clip all nice and ready to use. It's simple as that, it's all you have to do. I mean, you can, you can give the handle a clean once you've given it all a clean. Because obviously, again, the factory dirt and grease, some dirt gets in the handle. You can probably see it on the camera. I've not cleaned this one. If you want to clean it all up nicely, these are all nicely finished polished surfaces, but it's just the internal little bits that do a bit of a clean up, maybe if you're, if you're really picky. Um, but yeah. Same with the clip both sides. And that's really all you need to do. I'll tell you what we will do actually while we're here is we'll put a band in it and show you sort of how tight to tighten the clips up because some people get confused at how tight they need to do it if they're gonna damage the bands. So I'll grab a band and we'll attach a band while we're here. This is dead simple. Push your nuts in. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in there. Push your bolts in so the clip opens up. <laughs> uh, let's show you around this way, it'll probably be easier. So push your bolts in so the clips open up. At the bottom of the clip, there's the, the little block that comes out that takes the thread. Don't go past that block. Just push it down to the stop block. Let's have a look, where are we? So the band slides in and it will stop on that. I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm trying to show the camera will stop on that block there then obviously just release release the uh, the clip and that will close up then all you need to do is what I do is literally just close them up with this end to take up a lot of the uh, thread so we get to them like fairly flush and then alternate how you do them up so we'll start with this end because obviously you can get a better bit of leverage on it and do them up opposites so wind them around till you get to a point where you can feel the tension is starting to pick up on the band so I say keep changing you don't want to do up one corner at a time if you murder up one corner what can what could happen is you could pinch the corner and damage the band so by applying the pressure evenly you're just closing the pressure in nicely over the whole band rather than just on one corner then what you'll find will happen is you'll come to a point where the, the tension really starts to pick up on the bolt so you want to go just past that point. It's it's hard to explain. I haven't got a torque wrench or anything like that. I can tell you the pressure, but it's, you know, it's usually a bit of common sense. I mean, I've got to a point there where I know if I go past it, it's going to be too tight. It doesn't need to be that tight. So just just to a point of where you feel is about right. Like I say, do them up on opposites. Keep the pressure even on the band. You're not going to damage the band. And once that's done up, that won't go anywhere. That is in there absolutely tight no problems at all so yeah that's how you attach your bands okay so thanks for watching um hopefully that gives you a little bit of an insight into or a complete insight into the small subtle changes i've made nothing huge but i feel it's completely perfected the design itself so yeah once again thanks for watching um hope you enjoy your your shooting and your evos and i'll see you again soon cheers